Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating and interpreting a QQ plot using SPSS. A QQ or quantile quantile plot is used to determine how well a variable fits to a specific distribution. And most commonly in counseling research, we use a QQ plot to see how well a variable fits a normal distribution. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view here in SPSS, I have a variable that's positively skewed, a variable that's negatively skewed, and a variable that's normally distributed. And there are several ways to generate a QQ plot. One is we can simply test for normality. So go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. I'm going to move all three of these variables over into the dependent list. So we have the positively skewed variable, negatively skewed, and the variable that's normally distributed. Under statistics, I'm going to leave that set to just descriptives. And plots, I'm going to uncheck stem and leaf, check off histogram, and then check off normality plots with tests. And no changes under options. Then I'll click OK. And we can see we have the case processing summary and the descriptives. See the positively skewed variable, the skewness here is greater than 1. For the negatively skewed variable, the skewness is less than negative 1. And for our normally distributed variable, in this case the skewness 0 0.049. So if we take a look at the test of normality, we can see that only the variable that we expect to be normally distributed here uh, is normally distributed according to the Kolmogorov Smirnoff test and the Shapiro Wilk. So both values here are not statistically significant. Whereas for the positively skewed variable and the negatively skewed variable, there's a statistically significant result for both the KS test and the Shapiro Wilk. So then we can see the histogram for the positively skewed variable, and then the QQ plot. So this is for the positively skewed variable, and you can see the observed value along the x-axis and the expected normal on the y-axis. So for the positively skewed variable, notice how the data points are below the line here uh, toward the left and below it uh, toward the right, but toward the middle there on or above this line. Now below the normal QQ plot we have the detrended normal QQ plot and you can see for this positively skewed variable it has a V shape and you'll notice here uh, for this first point that this first point is below the line. And the way this is converted over for detrended, for the detrended normal QQ plot, is this point on the line, you take this point on the line and subtract the actual point. So that would give us a positive value. And you can see for the first point, we have a positive value just below 0.5. Then moving down, you can see we also have the box plot here. Let's move down to the negatively skewed variable. And we can see from the histogram that it does appear to be negatively skewed. And then looking at the normal QQ plot, notice that toward the left, the points are above the line. And toward the middle, a little below the line and on the line. And then toward the right, above the line. So not surprisingly, the opposite of what we observe for the positively skewed variable. And similarly, if we look at the detrended normal QQ plot, we can see the point here on the line. And then we subtract the observation. We can see that's going to be negative. And you can see here it is negative, that first point. And this has a V shape as well, except that it's upside down. Then moving down to the normal labeled variable, the variable that's normally distributed, we could see that the histogram 
is consistent with a variable that's normally distributed. And what we're looking for here on the QQ plot is that these points would be on or very close to the line. And that does appear to be the case for the majority of these points. And then taking a look at the detrended normal QQ plot, again, if we take a look at the first point, we can see that the line is above that point, so the line minus that point we would expect to be a positive number, and in fact it is here. We can see that on the detrended normal QQ plot. So this is one way to generate the QQ plots. I'm going to move back to the data view. You can run this from output as well, but you can also go to descriptive statistics, go directly to QQ plots. And I'll move all three of these variables over. And you can see there's several options available here, uh, transformations available, proportion estimation formula, the rank assigned to ties. But of special interest here, what I want to show you is the test distribution. So by default, it's testing the normal distribution. But there are actually several distributions available, beta, chi-square, exponential, uh, uniform, as well as several others. So you can test more than just the normal distribution with the QQ plot, although as mentioned before, the most common type of QQ plot is used to determine if a variable is normally distributed. And of course, to create the QQ plots here, we'll just click OK. And we can see that we have the normal QQ plots for all three variables and the detrended, but not the histograms. So this just produces the normal and detrended normal QQ plots. I hope you found this video on conducting and interpreting QQ plots in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.